Hi everybody. It is December 13, 2017. I want to thank my subscribers for sending this article along to me, Robot Wages War on the Homeless. The Homeless Fight Back. San Francisco. A fleet, a fleet of laser-equipped robots patrolling parking lots and company campus, campuses in San Francisco. It has met resistance from, from the city's homeless population after one machine was deployed to prevent tent encampments from forming. According to the San Francisco Business Times, the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals began using one of the robots in its parking lots and along the sidewalks around its premises in early November to prevent homeless people from settling there. So, their main mission is to prevent cruelty to animals. But clearly, they don't really care too much about humans. Um, I didn't know that we had robots pat patrolling. All right. I'm going to do a video on uh, what is going on with my brain and my difficulty talking. It is driving me up the wall. Any of you experiencing that? I do want to tell you that Truthstream Media has a video on this. And, well, it's going to be a whole lot better than mine, so I will link to it. SPCA hypocrites now using robots to scare away homeless people. My God, this nation is so cruel, it's so cold, it's so heartless. We can't seem to figure out what to do with this homeless population, so we will deploy laser equipped robots to get rid of them to make sure that they just don't have a place to put up a tent. The city's Department of Public Works has since issued the SPCA a warning not to operate the robots on sidewalks and other public right-of-ways without a proper approval or else risk a fine of up to $1,000 per day. Why? Well, people visiting the SPCA with their dogs, some dogs are freaking out with this robot. Microsoft and Uber are among the companies tasking autonomous robots with supplementing security guards on their premises, which they rent from California startup Nightscope for $7 per hour. Well, why bother? Why bother paying a human? And then, well, perhaps you might have to give that human benefits when you can just employ a laser-equipped robot for $7 an hour. The ANBOT, developed at China's National Defense University. Well, we're not the only country developing these uh, laser-equipped robots. Yes, China has an ANBOT, a robot that can shoot tasers. And I will link below to this video, Chinese robot drone patrols airport armed with taser. This is the nightmare that is unfolding, and it's unfolding right before our very eyes. Yeah. K5, crime-fighting robot to predict and prevent crime. So you have this robot, what? Uh, you have a thought that the robot doesn't like, and it shoots you with a laser? Well, they're designed to predict and even prevent crime. Digital reporter Alexandra Bahu here to tell us about the crime-fighting bot. It's getting a lot of attention. Alex. 
One company is on a mission to make our communities stronger and safer, and they're using a robot that may look a bit like R2-D2. A company in the heart of Silicon Valley has developed the K5 bot. The self-driving robot gathers real-time data using a number of advanced sensors. The bot is able to identify possible criminal activity, noticing aggressive gestures, just as, a, as an example. The information is then processed through the company's predictive analytics engine and combined with data sets and social network feeds. After all the details are compiled, an alert level is assigned, and the K5 will then decide whether the community and officials should be notified. The company has also made the policing robot affordable. It's able to be rented for about $6 an hour. The robots huh. could provide assistance at schools, data centers, and shopping malls. Creators say the K5 is not meant to eliminate human security guards, but rather extend their awareness by giving them relevant real-time information to make the best decisions. You oh, wow. They seem so happy about it. Oh, to make the best decisions. And all of these smiles. I, I mean, and then you have videos on YouTube with people going up to the robot and they're hugging the robot. Yeah, it's so cute. It's so cute. It's like R2-D2. Oh, wow. Our adult population is so unbelievably clueless as to what is coming. Night scope robot preventing parking lot malfeasance. It's global security. Yes, these will be employed all over the place. We've got them in malls, in a uh, Stanford shopping center. Crime fighting robots go on patrol in Silicon Valley. Companies are employing them. Uh, here's the one in the Stanford Shopping Center. At a mall. This is so dangerous, guys. So incredibly dangerous. I'll link below to all of the videos. But wow, but, uh, YouTube is saturated with videos on these crime preventing robots. Now, why are they laser equipped? Are Americans not even asking that question? The newscasters, are they not asking that question? I hope you're all doing well. Man, oh man, this world is really turning into something that is so incredibly dark. And these robots, they will be taking over. So they're, they're designed to uh, notice aggressive behavior. What does that mean? Does that mean that let's say you're late and you've got to pick up something at a store at a mall, and you're running through the parking lot, is that considered aggressive behavior? Jesus. All right. All links are below. Ciao, guys.